Welcome to J&J Acres. Today we're going to work on the Weeblows Activity Badge Handyman. And we're going to mark off three things today in one shot by working on this bicycle. Brandon, how long has it been since you rode the bike? A long time? About two or three months since he's rode on the bike. So we're going to go through here and mark off three different things. We're going to make a repair by adjusting the seat on his bicycle. We're going to lubricate the chain and we're going to inflate the tires of the bike. Are you drinking that water? Yeah. Is that good? Hey! 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 Oh, I need to What happened? <laughs> Alright, everything we're going to do uh, first we can do with the bike upside down. So we're going to turn the bike upside down so we can check the tire pressure and uh, inflate it if we need to, and lubricate the chain. Right, so, stop. Well, hold on. Over the the first thing we're going to do is check the tire pressure. You need to check your tire and make sure what it says the proper PSI, or pounds per square inch, should be. So, Brandon, if you read inside the edge of the tire here, what does it say we should inflate it to? A right to 40 PSI. Okay. Alright, so this tire wants us to inflate it to 40 PSI. We're going to use this gauge today, which is a dial gauge, and it goes up to 60 PSI, so that's going to do us just fine. This tire is so flat we can't even get the gauge to go on it without uh, pushing the, the nipple up into the, into the rim of the tire. Let's check the other one. Come over here, Brandon. <laughs> to fill up our tires, we're going to use a small air compressor, but of course you could use a hand pump as well. Just a lunch, Daddy. If it pushes it out, it's going to kick all the air out the tire. Look, the engine, it sucks air into these canisters, okay? Listen, it sucks air, not from here, just from outside, into the canisters, okay? And it sucks it and keeps pushing air into here until it's compressed air, okay? Then, it's trying the whole time to get out of this hose, but it won't come out until we push it on here. And then it will go out of the hose into the tire. See how these just plug into each other? Which means they can come loose too, right? But if you tie a knot, wrap them around each other. Now if the two cords get pulled, it can't come out. Right, so it keeps the air in here until we let it out. Right? So it's telling us there's 100 pounds of pressure in the tank. And then this is called a regulator. And what you did was you spun it until you regulated the pressure. And it went, and then it stopped at 40. That's right. So that's, even though there's 100 pounds of pressure in the tank, we're only going to let 40 pounds of pressure out at a time. This is called a quick connect. It works by pulling this down, pushing that in, and then it's connected now. So you didn't have to twist or anything. Now, you want me to show you how to use this one time? Okay, you see right now how we can push this down real far? What we're going to do, look, you see that right there? That's what lets the air out. Watch. Okay, so you're going to push this onto here. Watch. Daddy, when you did that, it went down on the Okay, we've got the tires inflated back to 40 PSI. Uh, sorry, we showed you a lot more than what you ended up seeing, but the camera decided to stop recording, and I didn't hear the beep telling me that that's hap that, that happened. Uh, but we have both tires inflated to the 40 PSI that it told us to. Brandon, why do you think it's important for us to have the tires inflated properly? Well, you think it's easier to ride it? Okay. 
so with the tires inflated properly, you can ride easier. And what about you? How long do you think the tires would last? Do you think they'd last more, or do you think they'd last less if the tires were inflated right? Inflated right, they'd last longer. Okay, so our tires are going to last longer. We're going to have a better ride, which means we can have more fun. Okay. Next thing we're going to do for this uh, activity badge is uh, oil the chain. We're using a three-in-one oil. Uh, it's the only light oil I had around the house, uh, but you can use some other uh, type of oil. Whatever you have available, um, not necessarily motor oil, you want to look for a light oil. Okay. So, why do you think it's important that we oil the chain? So it's easier and it doesn't rust the same. So Very good. The oil will protect the metal so it doesn't rust. And because it's metal on metal, it's going to make sure that it'll uh, go around properly like it already, like it's supposed to. All right, so put a couple drops on, and we're going to spin this and while you're putting the oil on, and that's going to help get the oil around the entire chain and on each of the sprockets and gears so that it's evenly spread. Okay, that's enough oil. Here, hand that off to me, and you spin this. Job. All right, so we've got the chain properly oiled. Now we're going to hop on the bike and see if we need to make any adjustments to the seat. So what do you think? Can the seat go up a little bit more? Just a half inch maybe? Okay, so to adjust this seat, we're going to have to use a hex key. Um, several other types of connections can be used. There are uh, bikes that have a, a quick connect lever where you just pull back on the lever. It releases tension. You can adjust the seat and snap the lever back in place for tension to hold the seat where it should be. Uh, there's going to be some that use socket wrenches, um, but ours happens to use these. We've already sized it up, and we know that we need a size 6. So go ahead and loosen it. Can I take it out. Okay, the other thing you want to check before you tighten this down is that your bike is, sitting on, is seated on straight. Now, this is just a round pipe, so you could just as easily get the bike, uh, the seat to be tightened into this position. So you want to be careful exactly how it's lined up. Okay, so I'm going to hold the tire between my legs, and I'm going to hold the bicycle seat right down the line of the frame while Brandon tightens the nut. Okay, so there we are. Not very much time. We've signed off three more things on our handyman activity badge for our Weeblow Scout Advancement. We have adjusted the seat, which is considered a repair. We've also lubricated and cared for the chain, and we've also inflated a tire. You ready to go ride your bike and have some fun? Every once in a while, it's nice to do a little bit of extra credit, and today we're going to take off the training wheels from your younger brother's bike. He has been bugging me for over a month to take off his training wheels. So we're gonna take the training wheels off and that'll be another repair that we've done to a bike. Okay, thank you for joining us today as we worked on our handyman activity badge requirements for the Weeblow Scouts advancement rank. Please subscribe to J and J Acres so you can catch all of our latest updates and like our video below. Have a good day. One of the first things you're going to have to check is exactly what screw is used to hold in your tail light fixture.